Langchain is probably the most popular LLM framework to build AI apps such as ChatGPT. LLM stands for Large Language Models and is a type of AI model that can generate human-like text. Langchain is well known among Python developers, but it also has a JavaScript library. The biggest ecosystem of developers are web developers. That's why this video series of Langchain.js helps you get started with building AI apps with JavaScript. And in this video, we will learn about the foundation of Langchain.js. Langchain is actually a whole ecosystem of tools and libraries, but we will focus on the framework in this series. We'll keep things practical and start by setting up Langchain.js in a new project. Create a new directory and run npm in it to generate a new package.json file. Then install Langchain.js. We will also install Langchain's OpenAI library to use OpenAI's models and install .env so we can use API keys from an env file. Finally, create a new file and call it index.js. This is where we will write our code. Let's start with the most simple example of Langchain.js, how to invoke the OpenAI model and generate text. Before we get started, make sure you have an OpenAI API key and inside the package.json file, you have type set to module. We first set up environment variables using .env. Then we import chat OpenAI to use OpenAI's models. We also import human message to create a message object. There is also system message to provide context to the model, but we'll look at that later. Then just create a new instance of chat OpenAI with the model name and your OpenAI API key. Finally, invoke the model with a message and lock the response. You may notice that the response has various properties like content, which contains the generated text. And that's it. You have successfully set up Langchain.js and generated text using OpenAI's model. Okay, so far we haven't seen anything that makes Langchain different than using OpenAI's API directly. But Langchain has a lot of features that make it easier to build AI apps. One of them is prompt templates. Prompt templates are a way to structure your prompts and responses in a more organized way. You can create a template with placeholders and fill them with actual values when invoking the model. To use it, import chat prompt template and then create a new template using the from template method. Every placeholder in the template is wrapped in curly braces. To put actual values in the placeholders, use the format or the format messages method. Run the code and you'll notice that format returns a string with placeholder replaced by actual values, while format messages returns an array of message objects. It's important to note that at this point, we haven't used the model yet. We are just creating a template for the prompt. We'll see how to use prompt templates with the model in just a bit. But before that, I want to quickly show you how to create system messages. We can import system and human message prompt template to pre-fill the model with human generated and system generated content. Then we can create a prompt template from an array of messages using the from messages method. Then run the code and you'll see the formatted prompt with system and human messages. This is useful when you want to structure your prompts with both system and human messages. System messages can provide context or information to the model. For example, in this case, the system message tells the model that they are a specialist in branding. That's neat, but you might think that seems a bit verbose. And you're right. Langchain has a more concise way to create prompts using system and human messages. This time we use a more concise way to create a prompt from messages. We pass an array of arrays where the first element is the type of message and the second element is the message content. For example, we can specify system or human as the type of message. This is much more readable and easier to use, and we don't need to import the templates. If we run the code, we see the same output as before. Great, we know how to create prompt templates, but we haven't used the prompt with the model yet. Let's do that now with Langchain Expression Language, or LCEL. Langchain Expression Language is a declarative way to easily create chains, hence the name Langchain. Chains are sequences of messages that are passed to the model. You can use it to define the structure of the conversation and the flow of messages. You can even create a chain that processes a hundred steps. But we'll keep it simple with just one step. We will start with setting up environment variables and porting the necessary modules. Then we create a new instance of chat OpenAI with the model name and your OpenAI API key. We also create a prompt template with a placeholder for the product name. 
So far, nothing new. But now we will create a chain using the prompt and the model. We create a chain by piping the prompt and the model. Here you could add more steps to the chain if you wanted. Then we invoke the chain with the service and log the response. Let's also look at how we can use a prompt with system and human messages. If we run the code, we can see output for our high-end fitness training app. Langchain expression language makes it easy to use prompts with models and create chains of messages. Apart from creating chains, Langchain also has an output parser that can help you process the model's response. The output parser can extract information from the response and format it in a more readable way. There are output parser for JSON, strings, CSV, and more. But today we will look at the string output parser. With that, we no longer need to use response.content to get the generated text. Instead, we can extract specific information from the response directly. To use the string output parser, we need to import it first, then create a new instance of string output parser. As we did before, we can pipe the model to the prompt, but this time we will also pipe the output parser to the chain. When we invoke the chain, the response will be a string instead of an object with content, so we can directly log the response without using response.content. With Langchain, we can simplify the code even further by creating a runnable sequence. A runnable sequence is a sequence of steps that can be run in order. First, we import runnable sequence and create a new sequence from an array of steps. We can pass the prompt, model, and output parser to the sequence. Then we invoke the sequence with the service and lock the response. And that's how you can use Langchain's output parser and runnable sequence to process the model's response. Sometimes if we create long chains of messages, it may take a long time before the user sees any response. To make the conversation more interactive, Langchain has a streaming feature that allows you to stream messages to the model and get responses in real time, just like ChatGPT. To use streaming, simply call the stream method on the chain instead of invoke. Then we iterate over the stream and lock each chunk. If we now run the code, we will see the response in real time as the model generates it. And we see how the response come in chunks. This is useful when you want to create interactive chatbots or apps that need real-time responses. When we have several prompts that we want to process in parallel, we can use batch processing. We start with a simple prompt template, output parser, and a chain, just like before. To batch process multiple prompts, we can use the batch method on the chain. First, create an array of inputs with different services, then call the batch method on the chain with the inputs, then run the code. Now we see that the batch method will process all the inputs in parallel and return an array of responses. And that's how simple it is to batch process prompts with Langchain. And that's it for the first part of the Langchain.js video series. We covered the basics of setting up Langchain.js, creating prompt templates using system and human messages, and creating chains with the model. We also saw how to use the output parser, runnable sequence, streaming, and batch processing. In the next video, we will dive deeper into Langchain.js and look at how we can work with data with document loaders and splitters. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.